Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another live commentary, live gameplay. I'm once again going to be rolling with the uh, Dallas Cowboys on offense and defense. Guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Uh, guys, going to be rolling with the uh, the gun doubles uh, offset, also the, uh, the Dallas single uh, doubles. Uh, I might be jumping into the uh, the gun doubles Y off flex. Going to be going against the Los Angeles Rams, one of the most popular teams right now online. Also using the Cowboys defense. I'm going to be uh, experimenting uh, with a new defense out of the nickel over G uh, with some new setups. Uh, I have really have not tried it online yet, so um, I, I'm going to be extremely rusty. I'm sure I'm going to be caught out of position because uh, it, it does got some. It has some pretty easy setups, but uh, it does take time for uh, the defense to actually roll its coverage to actually get guys down in the box. So hopefully I'll be able to get that set up correctly. Uh, getting the ball in the, the uh, second half definitely the way we like it, uh, and going against this guy. So we're going to go ahead, nickel over G. Set up our audibles. Need the invert is our base play. We go ahead and jump into this blitz, and it looks like he's going to give us enough time to set up our defense, so that's good. Good for me. And we're going to come out of this. So good run fits right there with this deep defense. And I watched the blitz. I completely watched the blitz right there. The pressure came screaming in against this guy. And um, I, he's able to go and get one off. So you can see I had double edge pressure against this guy because he wanted to play action deep posts. So that, that actually, that's uh, pretty promising right there. And I was looking at the blitz. I was watching it happen. I had a spy up on that side. That actually worked out pretty well for him to do the quick, uh, the wide receiver quick right there. And there's a the pressure. Did he get rid of the ball quick enough? He had the play action animation going on. I'm going to end with a man blitz. That was a good play. Got a lot of that yardage back. Good catch with the dagger out. He's going to settle for three. So that's a win on defense, uh, especially when you give up a huge play. But I got him twice on pressure. Uh, that'll work out for me. Let's see how this guy's on off uh, uh, on defense. Uh, he's going to get some breaks. He's got uh, a team that's got basically um, defensive studs on it across the board, all like pro, uh, former Pro Bowl players, ranked in the 90s, uh, in Madden in the, in the previous. So I got to make sure that um, I don't get myself in too much trouble, make clean reads. Make some clean decisions. So we're going to go into the single back doubles. We're going to set up our audibles. Double slant is going to be slow go seam. For verticals, is going to be smash. And we're going to come out of the halfback draw. Showing me two high safeties, but I'm going to run the ball. And that was a good block shed right there with Aaron Donald. 
All right, so we're going to go back to this play again. Because if he shows me cover two. No. There you go. I wanted to get the completion right there. Beasley was wide open on the back end side. Wanted to cover three sky. Take some audibles. There you go. So, good run right there. He didn't get a block shed. Able to go pick up a good 10 yards right there against the cover two. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set up our other audibles here. Four verticals, angle smash, Tampa comeback, shark. Go back to this draw. I want to keep pumping this draw against this guy. Uh, pulled in the turbo right there. Didn't get a very good animation. He went into man coverage. So this guy's using a lot of generic coverages, and that's actually a good thing. He's blitzing off the edge. You see that defender over uh, Cooper? He's actually coming in on a blitz. So you see the guy over Cooper? He's just coming. It looked like he's blitzing. There you go. Ah, Schwam, you got to hold on to that. It was a right read. He was in man coverage. There you go. Somebody the possession catch it right there. I probably could have racked it for a touchdown, uh, but I didn't want to take the chance of just getting a, a stupid drop. Go ahead and stay back in this offense again. So you can get a run against this guy. Come on. I uh, held on to the turbo. That's just I just can't get it out of my mechanics, man. It's just one of my just one of my issues with this game. I just I, I'm so used to doing it and I know uh, you should know better by now. Uh, but I just I just can't get rid of it. There you go. So Right there was man coverage. He stayed in the man coverage. He thought he got a couple stops with it, but that's just not going to work. This guy's playing completely vanilla defenses, um, and he's he, unless he starts making some adjustments, uh, I'm going to shred this guy uh, completely. So right there, able to go give, give that extra point right now. Up seven to three against this guy. Hopefully, I can get him a, uh, get a couple stops against him, um, and I can be able to get, put this guy out. Uh, he's got he got a he got a big crazy break on one of that plays. I actually was watching a blitz, a blitz and I wasn't watching the coverage, but I'm getting the double A gap against this guy, or double uh, double blitz. So that's actually some, that's quite uh, intriguing to have. So I'm just going to go back into this big nickel. I want to bring those guys down. So I'm going to use a pinch blitz. Tries to run. I got coverage for him. All right, see that pressure just came off, just crazy off the edge. You bet went back to play action, deep posts.
There you go. So you can see the pressure coming off. This guy's using play action uh, plays against me, and it's just not working for him. There you go. So I saw the crossing route. That was basically the only where I, area I had to worry about him lurking, and he just went right right towards me and, and challenged me. So I'll take it. He, wasn't ready. he, wasn't ready. he just threw it right to my, my to me. Didn't even make another read, and I think he's he was worried about the pressure. So that's probably what got him. So he's probably using Aaron Donald right now. So I like this blitz. This is really good against um, uh, guys that like to run a lot of coverage. Uh, it is just, I mean, this, this halfback pump draw, it's just a very effective run. Let's see if we can hit Cooper. Oof. I had, the, I had the open receiver. I had the positioning right there, and he's able to go and get a manual um, sack. So let's just go back to this. Played once again with that man coverage right there. <sighs> so I'll take it. So down to a two minute warning here. Um, three points is fine. I'm getting the ball in the second half. I'd like to go up by another touchdown. Get some pretty good animations right now with him. He actually went back into a cover, cover two, and actually took, takes a timeout right there. If that's a really good decision to do a timeout in that type type of scenario or not. Let's go into maybe I shouldn't do this. No. Oh. Wow, I got lucky. This guy fell back. He wanted to cover two. I read, um, I read man, uh, man coverage. Uh, it looked like it was man coverage, and then basically he his guys fell back. So uh, he baited me on that. Really good, good choice. All right, so he took another timeout right there. Um, not a bad play right now. Just giving this guy life. I made a, I made a bad decision. I read I read um, red man coverage, and it wasn't. It was cover two. Should have checked down. I actually had the underneath route, and I'm not going to be able to effectively get past this guy's run off the left hand side because Aaron Donald just he just he just makes any lineman his bitch because he's such a dominant defensive t uh, defensive lineman. Not a lot of good players. Like this guy's obviously not an elite player because elite players don't use Lyman. And this guy just got the break that he needed. Right there. So it's those are the type of things that are very frustrating um, when you play against like the elite teams in the in the game. You're gonna you're, they're gonna get up, get these type of CPU breaks right there. I had uh, my guys in position. He did a little spin move. He was able to go and break away from three tackles and just take it down the sideline. I tried to go ahead and into um, 
uh, basically go ahead and square my guy up and actually allowed his 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 uh, player to actually get in front of me. So I haven't seen anything impressive with this guy. He's not like he's an elite player, but he definitely got himself a nice little break right there. But a minute 27 seconds left is plenty of time for me to move down the, the ball down the field because he hasn't seen any of my offense yet. So we're going to go into the posts. Inside zone is going to be the 0-1 trap. We're going to go back into this play right here. Halfback draw. There you go. So just as quick as he gets a, a, a huge big break play, so do I. Move the ball down the field fairly fairly good right there so that 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 works for me I don't chew the clock I want to take this clock down as much as possible I don't want to get him set up at all look at that Bad clock management by me. Terrible clock management. Um, I should have. I should have took a timeout earlier. That was terrible. I'm gonna take the points. This is that was terrible clock management. I saw the clock rolling, and that was just that was bad. Very very bad clock management right there. I know it. I know it. I, I had two more shots in the end zone, and I, I just didn't, I didn't kick it correctly. So, he gave himself one opportunity for a big play. Uh, couldn't take it take it back all right so I'm keeping this guy in this game um, Jake to me uh, he's, he hasn't really shown me much as far as his offense is concerned and I played ultra conservative there at the end um, primarily because um, I was knowing that I was getting involved in the second half I can go back up at the two score lead against this guy so let's just go ahead and not take this ball out See, this guy's kicker is just like he just put it in the red in, in the end zone so we're going to go ahead uh, once again and go and jump back into this doubles. He's in a new defense now. And he's just getting some crazy block shots. So I don't know if I can go with this delayed uh, draw anymore. How did that defensive back come out of the blue? You saw that was wide open. That seam was wide open right there. <sighs> 
show me cover four. Hearns' route should be wide open. But I'll take the middle of the field. I think he came down in a blitz. Was that cover three? Yeah, it was an edge blitz right there, so. We're just going to do a straight up inside zone against this guy. Bad pass. <sighs> Bad animation right there. Actually, had wide open wide receiver, too. That, that that pressure uh, right there is actually getting in. So this guy's using like a god right now. Stays the cover two. Schwamm should be wide open. Wide open right there. So he's using his defensive guy. He's actually getting pretty good pressure on his own. But you can see right there, I was able to go ahead and uh, capitalize on that. Switched up his defense. Okay, so his okay, he went into, into a, a, a buck. zone and uh, his flat came down to play that I should have jumped out of the play god damn it the ball sailed on me. The ball sailed. <sighs> ah, that's so frustrating. Good inside position. There you go. Did I get a safety? No, got him down to the one. What a lucky break. That should have been a safety right there. And he got himself a safety right there. So uh, he went into some kind of play action animation, and he just ran himself out. So that see, the, uh, why am I actually playing down to this guy is beyond me. 
Um, I'm struggling against his, his uh, defense right now with this scheme. Uh, he's making he's 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 adjust. He's not staying in the same same uh, same uh, defense the entire time. He's he's switching out. But really, what's causing me problems is his defensive lineman. That's actually what's caused me problems. He's playing Donald. Um, and it's messing up everything else I want to do on the offense because he's got one player uh, that actually can make a huge difference uh, with uh, with the line play. Come on, catch it. Come on! It was wide open! Wide open! It was a right read! No way that should have been dropped like that. That's just, that's crap. That's just crap. Did I catch that? Nope. <sighs> this is so frustrating right now. It's so frustrating to have just stuff like that happen in this type of a situation. Catch it. Thank you. Stop sailing the ball on me, frickin' Prescott. You know how many times I've thrown that in practice mode with a, with the easy completion? That is so annoying. All right, so up by five points, it should be more. Um, this guy is his his uh, defense is giving me some trouble, um, especially with his his defensive line play. Uh, his offense is nothing to be nothing to be proud of. See, right there, he's stopping my run. Catch it. Thank you. Thank you. He's not he's not using anything. He's not taking away any of my reads over the middle. He's just taking away my running game. I'm surprised this guy hasn't got any strips, strip fumbles yet. So, just an easy read right there. Back to the doubles. I'm just going to do inside. I'm going to go off to the right side. So you can see he's he's mastered playing Don, uh, Donald, Aaron Donald, because he's just he's getting massive block sheds and everything against me. I wonder if I could set him up here with the, with all one all one power. There you go. We're going to take this down to two-minute warning. Did he take a timeout? I think he did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch this out with divide. And we're going to, we got a pitch, we got a pitch. Let's 
so you know the time out. There you go. There you go. I was just labbing this play in the red zone, and that's exactly what I was looking for. So I think I need to go for. Okay, no, definitely got to go for the extra point. So this, the, the, you know, I should. This game should be a bigger blowout, but I just I was having a hard time. I wanted to force the run against this guy, um, and uh, basically I wanted to kind of stay with uh, that pump draw. This it's a really good play against a lot of zone coverages. You can get some good running against it. But because he was getting really good block sheds off the line and constantly penetrating the back uh, back uh, backfield, and then on top of it's a draw, so there's a lot of animation before you do it. Uh, that uh, he, he it basically was he could he was getting a, he was getting um, a stuff every time he ran that play. Where's my coverage? Where was my coverage? Where was my coverage? I had, I had basically two people back there. I had, a, I had a single high safety and also had a, I had a. What was going on? Those guys just completely cleared out, completely. What was going on with that? Unbelievable, unbelievable. I just completely let this guy in this game. I just don't know what's going on. This guy's terrible. All right, so two minutes and 40, 14 seconds left. Uh, he doesn't have any timeouts. Uh, well, he's got basically two time stoppage, stoppages. Got a cover two shell going on. There you go. And we're going to take this down to a two minute warning. And that was pretty much it. That was a huge play right there. He didn't. He didn't have the. Um, did he get the animation? Oh, actually, it looks like he stopped the clock. down to the two minute warning here cover two once again So tempted to use a jailbreak screen against this guy, but I think he might run into some type of man coverage. didn't make the, the right right uh, throws right there so we're gonna chew the clock down as much as possible <laughs> you 
he needs a touchdown. I'm not confident he's going to do anything with his offense. He's got he's gotten basically a field goal kick, uh, a, a return touchdown, and a huge splash play. We're going to take this down to the five second mark. And 29 seconds. He's got time for six plays. Five really I'm gonna go and cover four now. It's because I'll let him try to beat me up top. Cover four drop. Beat me up top, buddy. So this game is a lot closer than it has to be. Twelve seconds. Two seconds to be able to get in the red zone right there. So, <sighs> wow. Here we go. That's it. So this game definitely was not what it should have been. I, I basically played, I'll play this guy the entire time. Uh, how he stayed in this game is beyond me. Um, he didn't have much of an offense. He had a few different plays that he ran. Uh, and this is, it was just kind of, I played down to him. Uh, he got a return, uh, a field goal with one huge big play. Other than that, I pretty much had control of him the entire time. Uh, he he. He was difficult to play against because of the way he played the defensive line, um, and he was getting some block shifts and he got some ta uh, got some sacks against me using Aaron Donald, but not an elite player type stuff. And, and me getting to safety basically was basically a difference in that game. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is not one of the better uh, play uh, game plays for me. I definitely should have destroyed this guy uh, based on uh, just the style of play that he had. It didn't really have a lot. He didn't have no scheme whatsoever, and basically his defense was all Aaron Donald. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it, and until next time.